We start off with some fundamentals. We look at the disease processes. How do oral diseases manifest themselves? How do they come about? How can we prevent them? And then simple restorations. And then of course we develop that and we develop it into looking at quite um, advanced restorative techniques, um, both direct fillings and indirect fillings, so th things that involve the laboratory in making stuff for us, crowns, onlays, uh, bridges, using adhesive dentistry a huge amount. Uh, and a big part of year two looks at aesthetics. We do quite advanced periodontal gum surgery um, to help with the restoration of these compromised teeth. And then, of course, we also look at, actually, if we haven't managed to save the tooth, how we can actually replace it. The first two years are very much clinically orientated, and then those that want to get their master's degree stay on and do the research project. I really enjoy all aspects of dentistry, and the restorative program allows me to do a little bit of everything, just in a lot more detail, with a more thorough understanding of what I'm doing, um, and in a higher quality. And I've started to apply that and I'm finding I'm getting a lot better results, not only from me being more satisfied with my own work, but my patients are also feeding back to me. They're finding that the um, restorations feel a lot more comfortable, look a lot nicer as well. So it's nice to see that I'm more confident with what I'm doing and they're appreciating the outcome as well. I like about the course, it's blended. It's got many elements of restorative dentistry in one MSc setting. So I found that would be a really good opportunity for me to improve my confidence, skills, knowledge, up-to-date evidence in all areas of restorative dentistry so I can provide a better patient care for my patients. The academic backbone of the course is really strong. Uh, so I think that bit I've, it really has challenged me into really ex bettering myself, really pushing the boundary, go out of my comfort zone, which I think has helped. I think otherwise it's easy to just attend a course, get a certificate, uh, you're told you're good enough, but then you still don't feel competent enough. Uh, that's the bit where I feel everything is being tested, we're being asked to then kind of prove it in a way by applying those skills. I was blown away by sort of how state of the art everything is. Everything's really modern and UCL is a well-reputed university worldwide. I work full time and then alongside that I'm doing this Eastman course. So it can be quite strenuous, especially towards deadlines, so when we have coursework and things like that. However, in general, I'm finding I work four days a week in practice, and then the one day here at Eastman, it's generally been okay to manage. The tutors in Eastman are well-renowned. They're very supportive, very understanding. So it's been good also socially meeting new dentists, um, learning from their skills, their expertise. We have a lot of different people from different backgrounds. We're all clinicians who are working in practice alongside studying. So again, we all have a similar background. However, everyone comes from different areas. We have people who are based here in London, where the uh, university hospital is. We have people who come from far. We have different age groups as well. So people who are more newly qualified, as well as people who have been qualified for many, many years and trying to enhance their skills. So it's really nice to sort of come together and sort of learn, um, but also pick each other's brains from different sort of fields that we come from. Everyone's very approachable, there's no sort of hierarchical, that, that doesn't really exist. So yeah, it's been a really good experience.